Do you think arcades will ever have a comeback? Well, we're going through a mini comeback right now. I, I wouldn't say it's a full comeback, obviously, since you still have all these arcades closing down, and most of the time you only find them at, you know, like these places like uh, Dave and Buster's. You have barcades that yeah. are popping up in cities. I think I think the, it, it's it's cool, but it's also sad. You're seeing a comeback of pinball and arcade, but in terms of what was released in the 80s and 90s. Sure. You're, uh, you still have new arcade games being right. released, but the, but the, the volume of them is so much smaller. Right. And none of the ones that are being released are really going to make it into any sort of barcade. They're going to make it into a David yes. Buster's, which most people, like myself, I don't really consider that an arcade. It's it's not. It's not an arcade in the way that I know it. There's it's, very, not, it's not an arcade when you're playing those alien uh, you know, shooter there's games. Just, there's very there's, little in the way of... Or the, uh, or the Mario Kart uh, racing games. Mario yeah. Kart counts enough, but it's all racing or light gun. Or dancing, basically. Or dancing, yeah. right? I'm, I'm thinking back to older arcades. So you've got the barcade, but that's not that's not invigorating a modern arcade revolution. No, no, one, no one's going to start making new arcade cabinets affordable to bar owners who want to cater to their mustache wearing hipsters who are buying you no. know cheap beer and you know plunking quarters you, in the Galaga. You don't need to use arcades to promote your systems anymore. Yeah, I mean the dream. I always say the Dreamcast to me is the last retro gaming system because of that. Because Dreamcast was basically advertising the, the, the arcade games were advertising the system. Sure. Yeah, because they were the same exact game. Yeah. Um, so you, you don't see that. You're never going to see that. There's no reason to ever see like a, a, a PlayStation version of the Play Choice 10 because everyone knows about their games through the internet and Twitter and you know trailers online and websites. So you don't have to go somewhere to see these new games. The arcades where you used to go to find out about new games. Yeah. That's Con the difference. Consoles existed to replicate an arcade experience, yeah. and now that consoles have surpassed the arcade experience, there is no more arcade. And so, therefore, it doesn't make any sense to put the console experience into arcades because you have the console. Right. And well, and that and yeah. most console games that now constitute a console experience, first-person shooters, uh, free exploration RPGs, mm -hmm. you know, things like this, they have no they have no place in an arcade. They don't. And so, yeah, I don't think we're ever going to see another revival to that extent and, and i should point out that that doesn't make me happy it's no, just it's, it doesn't it's make us happy it's, it, it's, it's the fact of the matter yeah so i'm not happy we have one that opened up in san diego a barcade finally that's pretty cool so we'll see what happens with that like it's only it's only a good thing yeah like, it's only a good thing even if it's a crappy one I'll, I'll i'll see for myself it's only a good thing to get people to know about the arcade experience again to have another generation at least have an attempt because when i go out uh to uh portland every year and I go out to ground control, it's always packed. Sure. And it's an awesome, awesome venue. Yeah. And the, the machines are well kept. They have like 30 pinball machines. They have probably about uh, 30, uh, you know, games there. And people are drinking, have a good time. And it at least gives you somewhat of the experience. Of course, it's, alcohol is going to have to be involved because these places have to, be, have to make money. Right. That's but, the thing. But, Al alcohol, abs that's the sad thing for younger generations who want to yes. get into it. Alcohol has to be involved. Why? Because the profit margin on alcohol can be skewed high enough that these places actually make money. No one is paying a bill off of a quarter per pop arcade machine. Sure. Even pinball machines where you can get away with charging 50 cents to a dollar a play on some of the new ones, you're not paying the bills unless you're selling booze. Sure. So I guess for those kids that they're going to get their experience from a Dave and Buster's or like we have the Boomers near us or Nickel City. That's the best that we can do right now. There's also a place I think in the mall uh, downtown. There's like an arcade upstairs. No, it, it closed. They actually closed that. Well, there yeah. you go. Unfortunately, they're starting to close them all. <laughs> but um, no, it's not gonna it's not gonna make a comeback. But I think it'll be around at least. I mean, hell, five six years ago, people just said, "What's a barcade?" So now at least you have that going on. You You're know? always gonna see some some iteration of games in a room for people to play sure. socially. It's just it's not gonna be the same as it was when we were growing up. Sure.